morning all so today we will begin our practical session that is to find out the refractive index of a glass slab by using pin method so we will discuss the chapter ray optics in that ray optics there was a portion that was refraction refraction so after refraction there were laws laws of refraction the law the second law was sin i by sin r will give you refractive index that is n right sin of the incident angle divided by sin of the refraction angle refractive angle will give you small letter n that is refractive index the medium so which medium we have to find out here glass slab one glass this is called a glass slab so we are going to find out the refractive index of this glass slab this particular material medium okay so for your easiness first of all i'm saying what is refraction okay refraction means light is coming from one medium say rare medium rare medium example air like this so light is coming from rare medium this is the plane separation and this one is denser medium okay so light is coming from rare to which medium denser medium and this ray what is the name of this ray incident ray right this angle that the incident ray makes with the plane is called incident angle angle of incidence angle i right and this one is the normal normal means 90 degree 90 degree to the plane right so when a ray is coming from rare to denser medium what will happen to this ray after incidence ah uh, it will bend towards the medium right after refraction refraction means it is coming from rare to denser or from one medium to another medium so from this separation what will happen from rare to denser it will bend towards the normal right from rare to denser the ray incident ray will bend towards the normal the refracted ray will bend towards the normal understood so this is the angle of refraction arm okay and again separation so this is the normal here is the normal and what will be the next thing away from the normal again the ray the refracted ray is emerging out it is emerging from denser to rarer medium so what will happen it will bend away from the normal understood this system this step <coughs> from incident ray we will mark angle later incident ray is coming it will bend towards the medium then it will go away from the medium understood from rarer to denser medium the ray will bend towards the medium it will bend away from the medium okay then i will show you the glass slab step okay so this ray is called incident incident ray this ray is called ref 
refractive ray. This is called refractive ray, and this one is called emerging. Okay, emerging because this emerging out from the. But this one is also a refractive ray because from denser to rarer, from one medium to another medium. You can call it as refractive ray, or otherwise emergent ray. You can call like this. An angle, angle we will make mark here with the normal and the incident ray, not with plane. We will mark with normal to incident ray. This one is angle I. Here also with the normal to refracted ray. This one is angle angle R. And this one will be emergent ray. Emergent ray we will mark with the normal. Everything with normal, and this one I can call it as angle of emergence. Angle of emergence, and also one more thing you have to understand: angle of incidence and angle of emergence will be same. Angle of incidence and angle of emergence will be same, but angle of refraction will be very different compared to angle of refraction, angle of incidence. Right? So this one is the basic idea. How we will find out? See, this one is our glass lamp, right? We are allowing light to fall on this glass lamp. This one is called incident ray. This one is normal. This one is angle of incidence. When after refraction, what will happen? The ray will bend towards the normal, right? So this one is angle of refraction. <coughs> Always, don't forget to put. Arrow marks, but that will indicate the path, the flow, angle of incident, uh, incident ray, refracted ray. Then what will happen here? Normal, it will again refract. Same angle. See, this angle, this angle, same. Angle of incidence, angle of emergence, same. I mean, arrow marks. Right? This is how we will mark. Okay. So your experiment will be, you have to. First of all, draw a lot of incident angles. Then after that, find out the refracted angle. That one you have to you can measure with protractor. After that, find out sine i, sine sine of i. You can use logarithm table. Then find out sine of r. Again, you can use logarithm table. Then sine i divided by Sign up. What you will get? Ah, uh, yeah. Refractive index of the medium n to one. Refractive index of the medium. Sign of incident angle divided by sign of refracted angle will give you refractive index. That is the question. Find out the refractive index of a medium. That one five or six steps. Five or six steps means first angle of incident take it as twenty degree. Okay. Next one. From here it is happening. How much? Twenty-five degree. Okay. Third one. Thirty degree. Okay. Fourth one. From normal, forty degree. Fifth one, fifty degree. Like that. In one paper itself, you can mark different different incident angle and find out the refraction. Like this, it will refract. Right? Then emergence also same like this. Like that, you will get different different sign i value corresponding sign r value. Find out here. So how we are doing is, so you will be given one glass lamp. This is glass lamp, and here we can find with many many methods the refractive index. But here in US syllabus. You are asked to do with pin method. Okay, in uh, your future class, in engineering classes and all, you will be given spectrometer devices. Spectrometer devices means light itself you will get, like flashlight and all. Light you are allowed to use, but here light is not possible. So which method you are allowed to use? So here, which is the method that we are using? Pin method. Pin means your normal pin. This pin, this pins, 
you can put pins here put pins here then observe that pins through this glass lamp through this observe the pins okay then you can trace this as a well. that is how we are doing this refractive index by okay let's do that so you will be given a drawing board in that drawing board give me one paper line paper so sin a by sin r equals e. do you know which law is this one yes. snell's law exactly sin a by sin r equals n is called as snell's law that is a very important question snell's law means the ratio of sin of the incident angle to sin of the refractive angle will give you a uh, refractive index of the given medium sin a by sin r equals n this is the method that we are using so hope you understood this step light from rarer medium to denser medium the light will refract bend towards the normal light from denser medium denser means harder okay. thing like denser to rarer medium what will happen to the light the light will bend away from the medium opposite angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence now you can check it because uh, if your experiment is correct well done means the angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence otherwise it will be wrong your examiner will be like that because angle of refraction we are finding out if the procedure is right means your angle of incidence and angle of emergence will be same that's it so take a blank paper like this put it here
you can check it when you go home. Okay, one more time. First tipping, I will apply. And also, second tip. Like this. Is it okay? Vertically, like this. Okay, the next step, do not forget the steps, okay. Did I take my glasses off? Make a mistake. Okay. Then, see, this is the most important step. Look from this side. I will bend down and look for the pin from this side. Again, watch the pins from here. Okay. So, you can bend this down, lift it down. And it's Can you see it from there? From yeah. here? Yes. Yeah. So, I will take again two pins. I will take two pins, then from one I use. I guess uh, you can see the pins like this exactly on the panel. Okay, like this. Same line, I will pin it. Right? So now three pins are in same line from looking from this line okay again i will take one more pin again i will plug it same line whether four pins should be in the same line fourth pin see finished finished like this like this First two pin, I will observe the two pins from this side. I will observe from this side. From this side. Then the third pin should be plugged in exactly on this two line, the line joining the two lines. Then the fourth pin again, without making a parallax, again. Almost this correct, but there are some issues because of my mistake. Then you can. Then after that, mark the position of the pin. Mark the position of the pin. See here. And the next pin. I will be here. Okay. Then I will say that. Then I will join the line. Here I got the two pin position, then I will join that line. Okay? Then here I have to draw one more normal, like this. One more normal. See, I got the emergent right, I got the incident right. Here, incident right, emergent right. Here I can draw the normal. That I will draw now. Take what right here and draw. Find 90 degree. Draw with dotted lines. So I got angle of incidence, angle of emergence. This angle and this angle, I guess it seems to be same. Right? I told you, angle of incidence should be equal to angle of emergence. So how I will find out the next one? Refracted ray. That is the question. How I will find out? Just join these two points like this. Join these two points that I will join now.
See, when I joined, it came like this. Rarer medium to denser medium. Incident ray is coming. After refraction, the light ray will bend towards the normal. Is it correct? It is bending towards the normal. Again, from denser medium to rarer medium. Again to rarer medium. Refraction again taking place. This is also refraction. Refraction means passing of light from one medium to another medium. From denser to rarer medium. See, from denser to rarer medium, the ray will bend away from the medium. It is happening here. No? This one is angle of refraction. This angle and this angle will be same. Yes. And again, it is bending away from the medium. So, first of all, find out this angle was 30 degree. So, find sin 30. Sin 30 is what? Sin height. Correct? Then, by using protractor, find out this angle. R will be equal to dash degree. Okay, so that one I will find out. Find out. I got it as 15 degree. Okay. So it may not be correct, but I got it as 15 degree. Right? So find out sine of 15 degree. That will be equal to sine R. Right? Then what is sine?